on this sprawling South London estate run by Britain's biggest housing association, we found squalor little short of a slum. Residents' reports of damp, damage and disrepair ignored for years. This is where the hole is. And as tenants' homes fell apart around them, rodents moved in. Rats and mice plaguing the Eastfields estate. Clarion apologised. The regulator announced an investigation. But last week, they cleared Clarion, finding no breach of consumer standards or organisational failure. But we've now learned not a single tenant was spoken to as part of that investigation, not a single property visited. Was this an absolute joke? Quajo reported Clarion to the regulator about conditions in his flat on the estate. No one ever called me, no one ever called any of the other residents, so I don't quite know how they came to their conclusion. It's not until you come down and you meet the residents and you see the conditions that they're living in that you get the true picture. I just thought it was just insulting, to be honest. The regulator did, however, speak to Clarion as part of its inquiry before concluding there was not a systemic problem with repairs across the estate. But since our investigation, Clarion has carried out over 500 repairs here, including in Marie and Christopher's flat, who live with broken floors for years. I think we've been let down very badly, very badly. I'm sorry to say that, but I think we have very badly. The regulator told us it didn't come here to this estate because it can't. As part of its investigations, it doesn't have the power to inspect or visit properties or even proactively seek the views of tenants. A housing regulator that can't visit any houses or speak to any housing tenants. It's not just people here at Eastfields asking the question, what's the point? What a strange situation we have where regulator, the only people they talk to, is the organisation, uh, the housing association, um, that have been responsible for this mess in the first place. Today, Clarion's boss apologised to Eastfield tenants despite being cleared by the regulator. No matter what the regulator's judgment is, there is clearly a lot of work for us to do at Eastfields. Do you think the regulator should have more power to be able to speak to tenants and visit people's homes? Yes. Do you think if they'd done that in this case, you would have been found to have breached standards? I don't know because it depends on this individual settlement. You have to operate within the rules that you are given. And the rules and this, are pretty cushy for you guys, aren't they, at the moment? It, it certainly doesn't feel pretty cushy in your terms. Um, this is a regulator that holds us to some pretty serious standards. Not seriously enough for the residents of this estate who tonight feel they've been ignored all over again. Daniel Hewitt, News at 10.